Okay, so some things I've been thinking about lately. Uh, the first thing is, um, I don't think that we should fire incels. Because, really, I mean, these guys are just in a shitty spot in their lives. And, you know, can't get laid. And, <laughs> and are trying to find some catharsis on the internet, you know. And I think a lot of people find catharsis on the internet. And uh, we shouldn't really... Uh, we shouldn't be so quick to judge, um, and I, ju I just don't think that uh, firing these guys is particularly healthy, because really, you know, it's not like they're rapists, they're just not, not particularly good at picking up women. And really, I mean, if you are, if you want like a, uh, a work environment where there's not going to be a lot of people like constantly hitting on each other and like a lot of grab ass going on or anything like that incels are the guys that you want in your office because they're not going to hit on you they're not going to go and squeeze your ass uh, so uh, yeah I think that it's a completely counterproductive way of handling um handling an incel situation if you, I think it that's the way of if you want to find a way to throw someone over the edge fucking fire them for not being successful with women that is like overkill you know what I'm saying it's like it's so fucked up uh, so yeah I do not agree with the firing of the incels I think most of these guys um, at least you know I know uh, I know several men who are celibate, uh, and, and never had really been successful with women, uh, but I wouldn't say that they are, they would consider themselves incels. And, um, they're, they're, I'm close with several of these people, and, um, I really... I have to say that these guys are just probably dealing with some of their own personal shit and trying to figure themselves out without necessarily um, trying to, like, you know, throw their shit all over a woman. And I think that that's commendable, respectable. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't... I think that really you're shitting on the wrong people by firing in the inc firing incels. I think that's fucked up. Another thing I've been that I've been throwing around in my head is just like how shitty people are to each other and how much people like gossip and talk absolute smack about the the craziest shit that uh, really shouldn't matter, uh, but but do. Um, and you, can, you know, it's just people are so mean and mean spirited. I think like um, it's interesting to listen to people's conversations and um, what they're talking about and the the energy of that conversation. I think is very interesting. I think communication has a lot to do with this reality that we have and. Um, our understanding of uh, our surroundings. I think communication is vital in that. Um, so I think it, the the more negative stuff that you're putting out there, the more negative shit you're gonna see. And it's um, it's just it's sad and it, it sucks. It um, I hate it. I hate watching people be such dicks. And um, you know, uh, any effort to, um, I guess really even, like, reach out to someone, or, you know what I'm saying? People just feel so entitled to being this, they entitled, feel entitled to victimhood, and it's really sad, and, um, 
and I, I don't understand it, and I, um, <laughs> you know, um, it's just hard for me to watch, it's hard for me to watch my friends, um, fucking up their, their lives, and, um, I don't, I don't know, I can, I'm not really going to, I'm not going to get too personal, but I do think that, you know, if you could just, I think everyone knows in a, in a moment what the right next best step for them is. I think it's instinctual. I think that you know what, I think the word of God is written on your heart, and I think that you know so, I mean, that's that's what I have to say to everyone. Just make the next right choice. And don't be such dicks. And, um, you know, have a better life.